Well, my name is Jim, and I live in Texas. And as soon as I get this gloves on, we're going to test, no, this will be test number two of the uh, Z-Magic, at least bought from Z-Magic, Philips recording system. The, uh, what I, the uh, system I have, I bought from famous vlogger Z-Magic. It's a discrete component system uh, with a recorder, a microphone camera that are separate and uh, connected by, uh, by cables, which means it's sort of a round mess. Oh, darn it, I forgot to close the door. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, it's probably not optimum for, uh, you know, quick and easy motor vlogging. But it's really nice for airplane v logging, and that's uh, I've learned a system that could do both. Uh, the reason it's nice for that is because you can have the camera and velcro it to your headset in the airplane or your helmet on the motorcycle. And uh, in the case of the airplane, you can plug it right into the audio system of the airplane glass. Basically, you can do that. And I tried it yesterday. I went, uh, I went flying with a uh, famous motor v logger. Uh, Trimeth, and uh, we had a great time. Unfortunately, my video did not, I was not able to get audio out of the intercom system. And I've troubleshot it some since I got home, and I'm almost 99% sure I uh, had a female, female connector that was needed to get into the airplane intercom. And uh, I'm pretty sure that was bad. Female, female combinations are probably usually not the best combinations in the world. So uh, I've got to replace the female female connector and I'll give it a try. I'll fly again soon. Uh, I got a really good response from that little one minute uh, airplane v lab I put up. So I'm going to try to expand on that. So that was one of the, the you folks who, uh, the Z Magic, you can thank the folks who responded to my airplane v lab for me buying your camera. But we're not on an airplane right now. I'm on inch 250. And I hear what you're saying. You're saying, Jim, you told us your Ninja 250 was, was sick and broken and you went right it. Well, that's all true, except for the last. Uh, the weather here has, I, I didn't run it at all in September. I won't go through the whole story, but basically this thing leaks coolant. And I can go about 200 miles on a tank of gas and about 150 miles on a tank of water. And I haven't known that what the problem is. And I just found it to go there right now. So, uh, uh, but the weather turned so nice here in October in Texas, I've been riding a little bit, at least around town. Uh, I'm afraid to take it on a long trip. This is what I'd love to do. There's a, a, a motorcycle touring for a meetup in uh, Texas, Canada, which is in there 370 miles from here this kind of weekend. I'd love to ride to that. Uh, the Ninja 250 Guru uh, Michael Hickman is going to be there. Uh, I've met him once before, and he's just a goal man in knowledge about these ninjas. Uh, but unfortunately, I just don't trust this bike to go that far anymore. Uh, I think there's a new bike in my future. Right now, priority is selling my boat. Uh, that lets me put off the decision on a new bike until the boat sells. Uh, my wife is fully behind me getting a new bike, and uh, you know we just uh, got to make up my mind about it. Right now, the leading candidate is an FJR, but I really want to buy. If I all possible, I want to ride the bike before I buy it. And I would not ask to ride a private owner's FJR because you know, that's just asking for trouble. There is a place up in Dallas and Remsen. I think if I go up there, uh, I may be able to run. But one thing at a time, let's just see if this darn setup works at all. I'm just going around and around back here, test the setup out. There's a new motorcycle shop here in uh, North Austin, just opened a month or two ago. I'm going to go in and I'm going to put in the driver and look at it. Just right up here, and I suspect this one is going to close, but it's still there. And the motorcycle dealer is still here. It just opened up, in fact. I got behind me, I'm not really close, I hope he's paying attention, he's going to kill me. Let's check this out. Uh, 
these guys are so I went up for them and they were like uh they were like selling super motards and dirt bikes mostly, but I see some dirt bikes in there. Is that a ninja 650 there? I'm not sure. I don't know what the what's that green one? Oh, it's a Kawasaki, it's got to be green like that. Oh, it's a nice Yamaha uh, SV. Nice shadow, which would be a good cruiser if I wanted a cruiser. God, I wouldn't have to throw it my leg over like I do on the giant box like my Ninja 250. CBR, though. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me a little bit. Uh, my brother has a CBR 600, and uh, I said I don't know if I visited him, and I you know, hated it because of the now, and it's not that there's anything wrong with it, it's a race replica. <coughs> so they don't play any expensive for coffee. I didn't like having my nose down on the tank. And the whole thing just didn't fit me at all. Uh, it fits my brother boy. He also well, takes the trap boats, which is what something like that was for. Uh, so he's he's entitled to have his CBR. Many people just ride around in CBR, you know, there's something wrong with it. But uh, I say that in a loving way. Uh, <laughs> just yes, damn, not kill me. What I need to do now, and I need to insult the Harley guys too, so that I can get. Uh, 90% of the motorcycle riders of the world against me. Yeah. What else has been going on in, in the life of Jim? Well, I did have a sort of nice fight with Trent yesterday, and I did not get the video to, to record that once I discovered the sound system wasn't working. But he took a little bit, so maybe he'll put some of that up. I hope he does. What a great time. Trent was a great co pilot. Uh, if he didn't freak you out, I did uh, a couple of things that I don't normally do with people who aren't experienced in, uh, in flying in light planes. Uh, he, uh, I did a, uh, a power off on a, on a full power on star. I tried to, the Cherokee were up, didn't run a star. But uh, he would, but that, that, that tends to be really careful because that can terrify somebody who doesn't realize that it's, it's a, you know, as safe as being in a rocket chair. Just like taking a first time pass from a motorcycle, you don't want to, Go to the twistiest road you can find to set your hair on fire, even though you know what you're doing. <laughs> they don't know that you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Rambling BS. Mm, hopefully it'll take. Mm, stars are coming out. God, it's nice. I'd like to go flying again tonight. It would be cool to ride my motorcycle down the road and go flying. I'd do that, but that would be right. But again, it's a, it's a C position on the CDR, and that just doesn't really work for me. Uh, Spona Cowboy, you're like the fact that uh, I, uh, an adventure rider right now that was now up for a Bergman 650 in, uh, in uh, uh, Louisiana that looked pretty good. You know, we got a couple pictures of it, it looked clean. I, mean, I don't know much about Bergman, but uh, I was thinking, you know, Jim, for, for a lot of the riding you do around town, you have so much trouble climbing on and off these bikes, you ought to just get a scooter. Well, he, I probably should. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to get an FJR or a uh, Honda Delvia, the new 1700 Delvia looks pretty interesting to me. Uh, not to, I think, a lot of people, but it does to me for reasons I'll discuss later, perhaps. Uh, and, you know, maybe a, 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 a Ninja 650R would be uh, very well suited to me. Um, like I mentioned, Michael Hickman, he rides one of those thousands and thousands of miles all over the world. It makes a decent sport turning back, and you got to get a new one. I could afford a new one, which would be nice. Uh, but anyway, uh, Spinner Cabo, uh, I think when I get a, I'm going to get a sport bike next or a sport turn bike, and then the next bike after that will be a Bergman, I'm pretty sure. So that for running around town, running around, so it seems like that'll be pretty hard to beat. Uh, and I had to ride, I rode to Fry's yesterday to get a connector for this camera setup, and, you know, and, it would have been nice to go in a bar burger so I could just hop on and off and it has the big trunk to store stuff and then you buy stuff, there's room for stuff. So this burger looks like a pretty good option for, for the future gym. Well, here we are. Let's see if I'm going to say the magic word, open sesame. This is Jim. I live in Texas. Uh, thanks for riding with me.